Hello, this is Zig Fermanic of Sumatra Development Corporation here to show you our calendar contacts and task migration from M. Damon into Microsoft Exchange, in this case Office 365. So here we have a blank calendar except for a few things that are already in it. Over here we have a fully populated M. Damon calendar with recurrence patterns, all day events, pretty much everything that you'd expect to see in a calendar. Now we're not going to cut away, we're doing this live, and what we're going to see is all of this data going in. A couple of things about this, we of course maintain recurrence patterns, we also uh, maintain all of the attributes of so something's private, something's free, something's busy, it's going in that way. We also uh, have been told by a number of people in the case of moving something like primarily an email system that they like doing it in groups rather than all together. Mm -hmm. So we've designed this so that here you see the reminders coming in. So we've designed this so that you can migrate in groups um, without reproposing all of the meetings and resetting up all of the uh, email traffic that that involves. So it makes it easier to do it that way, as you can see here. But if, when Zig invited Janice Joplin to a meeting, we got to see, we now see that she actually was an attendee. So if he wants to recreate that, that's much easier to do. Similarly, when Jimi Hendrix invited him to a meeting, we get the list of people who were going to be at that meeting. Okay, and this is also tagged with appropriate categories so that if you wanted to recreate those or find them, you could. Recurring meetings of course are going to show up uh, with um, the appropriate recurrences. All right now and at the same time we also bring in contacts and tasks. Now let's say that something goes wrong and you need to undo it or you've mapped your users incorrectly. We've designed for that. Remember earlier, we showed you that there were a couple of holidays that I put in. I'm just going to click undo here. Derby Day and Tax Day. Those should stay there after we remove all of this data that we had uh, just inserted. And sometimes the screen doesn't update all that quickly. We saw some of these leave. If I go to April, there's nothing in there's, there we go. There's a few there. If I go to May, there we go. All gone. And April. The only two left are Tax Day and Derby Day. Any questions? We're uh, happy to answer them. We will also be happy to set you up for a free trial. Many thanks.